simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager, FRM. Part one of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management, and the theories that underlie their use. Hypothesis testing, multiple regression. After learning about multiple regression, let us now learn to test the significance of the coefficients with the help of a hypothesis test. In this session, we will learn how to test the significance of the coefficients individually as well as jointly. We will introduce another statistic called the F statistic. Let us begin our discussion by briefly outlining the topics that will be covered. Agenda. The primary agenda of this discussion will be testing the model for significance of the coefficients, that is, whether the coefficients are making a significant impact on the dependent variable or not. We will divide the session into two parts. First, we will discuss the significance individually through a t-test or by using p-values. In the second part, we will jointly test if any one of the coefficients is making a significant impact on the value of the dependent variable. Finally, we will learn briefly about restricted models and misspecification that can occur in the model. Hypothesis testing, individual coefficient test. Let us apply the concept of hypothesis testing that we have learned earlier in testing the significance of the coefficients of the regression model. All coefficients are not always significant. That is, the independent variables that are included in the regression model might not always have a significant impact on the dependent variable. To test the significance at a given probability confidence, we apply the concept of hypothesis testing. As explained earlier, the main concept is testing if the hypothesized value lies within the confidence interval of the estimated coefficient. Alternatively, we can also calculate the test statistic and compare with the critical value. Let us discuss these tests in more detail. In the first method, we calculate the test statistic for the estimated coefficient. This is done by subtracting the hypothesized value from the estimated coefficient and dividing it by the standard error of the coefficient. We now compare the test statistic with the critical value of the statistic used. Here we use the t-test, so we will compare it with the critical t-value at the given confidence probability. You may recall 